Hey guys, how you doing? So in this video, we're going to look at the state of PHP in 2024. I'm referencing a JetBrains blog post, the state of PHP 2024, although this article is written in February 5th, 2025, it covers a whole bunch of different aspects about the PHP universe. I've been using JetBrains products since oof, decades now, so I can highly recommend them. Big things you got to pay attention to with PHP is uh, what versions people are using, what AI they're using. Code editor is very important besides the other tools. So uh, let's just jump into it. The state of PHP in 2024. I'll link to the article below. I would suggest you check it out. So they basically uh, surveyed 2,660 PHP developers from around the world to see what's going on. So you see the distribution, the experience distribution is uh, three years to 16 years plus. So it's pretty evenly distributed, pretty cool. Geographically, it's actually concentrated in Asia and United States. You got 11% in Japan, China, United States, 8%, Brazil, 7%, India, 6%. European countries are a little slack on the PHP use for whatever reasons. In terms of age, wide range of PHP users of all from 21 to 59, even 60 years. But, you know, you got a nice even distribution. That means PHP is continuously being adopted, as is evident there. How about the versions of PHP? Right now, you can see that in 2024, 86% of people are now on PHP 8, 44% on 7, 12% on 5.6. As to be expected, 8 is basically, I would characterize it as an enterprise upgrade to PHP. The biggest leap in PHP, by the way, was between 5.6 and 7. You saw a huge increase in uh, efficiency. PHP 7 was 50% more efficient. It took half the resources of 5.6, so a big speed increases there. 8 has some incremental improvements in terms of efficiency, but it added some enterprise capability and a few other niceties. So let's look at the PHP frameworks. Which PHP frameworks and platforms do you use regularly? So there's Laravel. I've been talking about Laravel for many years. Laravel is number one. Number two is WordPress and Symfony. WordPress it's more of a content management system, but because of, of the ecosystem and the rich themes, you could use it to do e-commerce and stuff. If you have information-rich sites, then I would be using WordPress. Otherwise, if you want to build any apps of any sophistication from scratch, I would be using Laravel. Although Laravel is by widely more popular. Scroll down, PHP dev environment. So the IDEs, the most used IDE for a long time now is PHP Storm. Is 58% versus second place is VS Code, which is Microsoft's code editor, and Sublime Text is way down. So these guys we don't want to even pay attention to. So PHP Storm and IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate plus the PHP plugin uh, is included in this. Even though AI is widely used, very powerful, I recommend you get it. You still need to be a, an intelligent coder. You still need to edit code and check out code, make sure everything is cool. And uh, so that's where an IDE comes in. Some people are still worrying about whether or not AI is going to replace coders. It will not replace developers. It will just change the game. And Storm actually has AI built into their IDE. Uh, here's something interesting. In terms of debugging, the majority, a strong majority of, uh, <laughs> of developers, 64% PHP developers, they still use... Uh, die calls and stuff like that to debug as opposed to using a debugger. You should use a debugger. Problem is a lot of people, they don't want to set up the debugger, but that's where PHP Storm comes in handy. It's got it all built in. It'll make it easy. It's worth learning to debug, by the way, because uh, it's going to save you time. So take a little bit of work to learn it. And if you're using PHP Storm, it just makes it easy to do. Unit testing, another thing to talk about here. Uh, PHP unit is by far away the most popular. My only comment about unit testing, use it after you got your MVP out. You don't want to start writing all kinds of unit test code with your MVP because your use case is going to change quite a bit. So I'm going to leave a link so you can go read the rest of this article. I won't go through the whole thing. AI adoption, as you can see here, as of today, uh, 2024, most people are still using uh, ChatGPT as opposed to Gemini or Copilot or the JetBrains AI assistant. My only comment about AI, use it, jump into it, but realize that it's not perfect. It will speed up your workflow by a lot, by a lot, but you still need to know what you're doing and you still need to be able to go in there and check the code, inspect the code, 
where a good IDE like PHP Storm will make your life useful. Check out the links below to install PHP Storm and uh, yeah, take advantage of it. So to wrap up, PHP is still going to be strong in 2025. AI is not a threat to PHP and most others software development. And even though you can get code generation with AIs like ChatGPT and uh, the many others that are out there, they are not perfect. They will speed up the process. They will make your life easier, but you still need to know what you're doing and you still need to check out and double check their code. AI hallucination is still a thing. And uh, for whatever reasons, AI will make mistakes. And I think for the foreseeable future, Thanks again to JetBrains, who is the sponsor of this video. Not the first time they sponsor my videos. PHP Storm is a great IDE, like any of uh, JetBrains products. They know what they're doing. All right, links below. Thanks for watching. I'm Uncle Steph. If you have any questions about anything discussed in this video, you disagree with anything, let me know. If you like my hat, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my hat, give me two thumbs down. And uh, that's about it. Cheers. <laughs>